Okay, I will touch on the chapter of our manifesto on society. This chapter details the Workers' Party proposals on the social aspects of living in Singapore. I will separate my brief into two parts. First, I will talk about the government's role in enhancing life of every citizen. And secondly, I will speak about developing a strong and vibrant community as well as improving our social cohesiveness. First, the government's role in enhancing life of every citizen. Fundamentally, the government's responsibility is to look after its citizen. It should not restrict itself to playing a charity role when dealing with the needs of the people. Currently, the minimalist approach of the government towards social welfare has caused much stress to poor and lower middle class of Singaporeans. The Workers' Party is for a caring society and believes that social justice must be intrinsic to the concept of good government. And government should take, should, take, should take a more proactive role and take the lead in nurturing our society to be more caring and compassionate. The government has the obligation to protect and provide for the vulnerable groups of people such as the elderly, people with disabilities and children. These are some of our proposals. One, the Workers' Party believes that VWOs, or Voluntary Welfare Organization, which provides health care and support services to the elderly, should receive more government support. Two, as a way to honor and show off gratitude towards our elderly who have contributed tirelessly towards nation building, the Workers' Party believes that there should be enough choices for them to live within the community rather than being confined to an institution or in another country. We propose that an elderly care centre to be built in each precinct for those elderly whose families are unable to look after them. Three, for people with disabilities, we believe that the government should ratify the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities and take a whole-of-government approach to ensure that its key provisions are implemented in Singapore. On top of this, the government must provide better transport infrastructure for people with disabilities. And to increase employability for this group, we also believe more incentives should be given to employers who are willing to recruit them. Four, our children are our future. We propose that we should, we should look at setting up a child safety council. Having a coordinated approach for protecting our children allows better allocation of resources. It will provide focus on implementing child safety policies across the board. Child safety officers should be appointed to ensure compliance with child safety policies in the country. I will now move on to the second segment that is developing a strong and vibrant community as well as social cohesiveness. The development of a strong and vibrant community will strengthen our social cohesion and in the process, cement our national identity. Multiculturalism should be actively promoted and should form the cornerstone of our social policies. These are some of our proposals. One, as indicated in our 2006 manifesto, the Workers' Party continues to believe that resident committees, RCs, and the Citizens' Consultative Committee, CCC, should be abolished to allow for the organic growth of community leaders and development of community living. Two, similarly, the Workers' Party firmly believes in the abolishment of the Group Representation Constituency, or GRC, and the need to revert to single constituency based on geographical areas to promote community identity. And finally, for, and finally for this chapter, the Workers' Party proposes to increase the number of community mediation center, or known as CMC, and promote it as a place to settle community disputes if individual efforts fail. In line with its work to help build bridges to reconciliation, the center should, be, should also promote and educate the public on the harmony of community living. With this point, I conclude. Thank you.